All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brockate Howard, Brockate Howard Shai, Brockate Howard, Brockate Howard Shai, Brockate Howard, Brockate Howard Shai. Call the law, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And I shalom to you, sincere Akim, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And I shalom to the few sincere Aqua that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight, straight into this lesson. Lord is willing, it'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go in the uh, Rakal Kwadash. For the record, today's date is July 31st, 2020, the year of prophecy. And uh, this sh should be real quick. I just got to uh, play a little bit of uh, these two videos on the same uh, same topic. Um, pretty much uh, the lockdown, um, you know, per COVID-19, a coronavirus, and the, the so-called second wave that's being uh, unleashed upon the globe, allegedly, the... Um, the restrictions in England has, has been intensified, you know, so that's pretty much what this lesson is going to be about. And um, I just had a thought, you know, you can clearly see, and we well, not just a thought, but we've, we've been telling you we're at the the beginning stages of Jacob's trouble, okay? We're at the door, man. We're at the door of this thing. Esau Edom is about to come down with great wrath. He is coming down with great wrath, knowing that he had but a short time. The devil is. He's coming down with great wrath. And you can see um, clearly, like they show you, uh, the elders always go into um, uh, Esau does something called gradualism and predictive programming, okay? And he, he, Esau works with something called witchcraft, okay? And through his witchcraft, uh, um, part of witchcraft and magic is, is sleight of hand. They have to show you what they're going to do before they do it. Okay, they put the they put they put whatever they whatever it is in front of you, and then they move it. You know. Slide of hand, they show you it. They show you what they're going to do. That That's the power of magic, all right? And that's what Esau Edom does through his movies, through his, his uh, Hollywood, you know? He he shows you what he's going to do all the time. And he's, he's made multiple movies showing you how he, he intends the world to be in the future. And we're in the future. We're in this. We're at, we're at the beginning stages of this new world order. Esau Edom has been showing you what he, he, he deems that what he wants the world to be. OK, uh, a key um, clue on how he wants the world to be ran is through something called the Georgia Guidestones. We know he wants to get the population down and, you know, so on and so forth. OK, and he shows you, like I keep saying, in his movies, prime example, uh, George or Orwell's 1984. They show you how he, how he saw the wicked elite. OK, the so-called Illuminati or what, 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 however you may call them, how they want this world to be ran. OK, they show you in a. Uh, um, Demolition Man, how, how they wanted things to be. They show you in, um, what's another good one? Another good series, The Handmaid's Tale, so on and so forth. Esau Edom always shows you. And like the elders keep saying, they're coming down with more and more draconian legislation. Okay, ultimately what? To, to do what? To chip the people. The Hour of Temptation, the Karagma. But we can see life as you know it is, is, dr is drastically changing, man. Okay? It's drastically changing. There's no more going back to, to the way things were. Okay, so anyway, with that being said, that's pretty much what's going through my mind. You can clearly see Esau Edom is rolling out this new world agenda, this new world order. Okay, you know, this cashless society, this internet of things, spearheaded by the mark of the beast, the Karagma, the RFID microchip, and we can see how he wants it to be. He wants it to be, you know, going to work and back, work and back. That's it. You know, perfect slaves as... Um, Aaron Russo said he wants to be able to track you, track everything you're doing. You know, he want, he has a God complex, this man. He wants to be like the Most High, okay? And like I said, he shows you over and over in his movies. Black Mirror, that's another good series. So on and so forth, okay? Perfect slaves, okay? You go to work, you come home, you know, no, no, a little bit of fun, no, basically no fun, you know? Perfect slaves, go home, come, come home. You know, in time, that's another one. In time, out of time, whatever you call it with Justin Timberlake. Okay, just go home, come home, That go to work, come home, that's it. Okay, no socializing, no gathering, none of that. No sex, okay? You know, this man's a damn devil, man. Anyway, with that being said, let, let's uh, play some of these videos. I'm, I'm only, I'm only going to play a little bit of them. And then I got one scripture and I close out. Like I said, no need to be long, okay? So uh, this is off of BBC News. 
from yesterday, July 30th, 2020, the year of prophecy. It reads, new lockdown for Northern England as coronavirus cases surge. And like I said, this is the new norm. Okay, they're, they're gradually, everybody's going to be locked down, man. This thing is a global agenda, okay? You know, as the scripture said, Revelation 13 and 16, that no man buy, may buy or sell save he that had the mark, okay? Hey, we, like I said, we're in these times, Second Ezra 15, Second Ezra 16, you know, martial law, sedition amongst men, upwards of the people. You know, you're not going to, a man shall des, uh, de, desire to go into a city and shall not be able. The prime example of it, the prophecies are screaming, man. Okay, you're not even allowed to socially gather and visit, visit your own family members anymore. Okay, you see, you see where this thing is leading? We're at the door, man. This thing is, is turning up, man, quickly. You see? Salakia. So it says, uh, tough new Salakia. Tough new restrictions. Like we said, the, the 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 noose around your neck is getting tighter and tighter. And all, the ultimate noose that's going to be put around you is going to be that karagma, the hour that that chip. That's going to be the end all the end all be all. Okay, the material to be able to track you and monitor you, you know, and c completely control you through that chip. You see? It says tough new restrictions for millions of people living in parts of northern England have been announced following a rise in coronavirus, rise in cases of coronavirus, all right? So let's play just a little bit of this, and then I'll play the other video, and like I said, we're out of here. Secretary has announced tough new restrictions for millions of people. The health secretary has announced tough new restrictions for millions of people living in parts of northern England amid a rise in cases of coronavirus. Matt Hancock says that from midnight tonight, people living in Greater Manchester and parts of East Lancashire and West Yorkshire will be banned from going to other people's houses. They cannot meet inside or in private gardens. He says the sudden move is part of immediate action to keep people safe. The details are still emerging, but it appears that shops, pubs and restaurants in the affected areas can remain open. Sophie Hutchinson has the very latest. And like I said, when you see the Handmaid's Tale, that's what keeps coming to my mind. When you watch the Handmaid's Tale, that's how it was. Those women, they, they had passes. They couldn't go here and there. They, would, they were able to go to the store, of course, because they were slaves. They would go buy whatever they needed to buy and bring it back to the house. They had a list. You know, they had a list of things they can get, you see. You see, complete, com complete control, man. You know, there was no social gathering, none of that, man. OK, and that's the that's the times we're coming in. That's the that's the new world that we're heading into. According to Esau Edom, this is this is what he's trying to accomplish, man. OK, perfect slaves, man. You know. New restrictions for millions of people living in parts of northern England amid a rise in. And that's like it. That's why also he has to chip the people and he also has to get the population down so that he can control it. You see. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. He's rolling out this new world agenda as we speak, man. These are the beginning stages. He's rolling it out in phases. And this thing is global. The health secretary has announced tough new restrictions for millions of people living in parts of northern England amid a rise in cases of coronavirus. Matt Hancock says that from midnight tonight, people living in Greater Manchester and parts of East Lancashire and West Yorkshire will be banned from going to other people's houses. They cannot meet inside or in private gardens. He says the sudden move. And how are they going to? How are they going to enforce that? They're going to have to have patrols. You see where this thing is headed, man? Just like uh, I forget where it was. Different countries they had uh, drones flying around. You know, making sure that people weren't outside. You see? You see where this thing is leading, man? I, I mean. I don't know if you can't, how, how you can't see what, what's, what's going on, man. This thing is obvious. Night tonight, people living in Greater Manchester and parts of East Lancashire and West Yorkshire will be banned from going to other people's houses. They cannot meet inside or in private gardens. He says the sudden move is part of immediate action to keep people safe. The details are still emerging, but it appears that shops, pubs and restaurants in the affected areas can remain open. Sophie Hutchinson has the very latest. Oldham, where cases of coronavirus have more than tripled in the past week. 
people here and now right across Greater Manchester will be banned from visiting each other indoors as part of new restrictions to curb the sudden surge in cases. The same measures will apply to Blackburn with Darwin and in other parts of East Lancashire and in some areas in West Yorkshire. The Health Secretary said the decision had been reached after high-level meetings with local officials today. We take this action with a heavy heart, but unfortunately it's necessary because we've seen that households meeting up and a lack of social distancing is one of the causes of this rising rate of coronavirus, and we'll do whatever is necessary to keep the country safe. They're going to do whatever is necessary to keep the country safe. So ultimately, ultimately, we know it's good to keep the globe safe, the people safe, man. You see, this is a global agenda, and ultimately, it's going to be mandatory testing, mandatory vaccination, and then ultimately, mandatory chipping. That's where this thing is headed, man. We're close. All right, I'm not. I don't want to make it long, so let's go. Let's play a little bit of this one. I just want you to hear how this guy is going to say how 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 quickly. He said it over and over. How they had to move quickly, quickly, quickly. He kept saying that, emphasizing that. All right, because this devil knows he has he has but a short time. He's trying to roll out this agenda, and he's using this COVID-19 as the perfect guys, man, the scapegoat, the perfect uh, thing to blame it on. You know why the economy's crashing? Why there's a famine? Okay, of food. You see. You know, the, the civil unrest, everything can be blamed on COVID-19. So once we get this COVID-19 under under wraps, everything will go back to normal. You see, Every, once we get this thing under wraps, everything will go back to normal. The economy will go back, you know, you know, everything will go back. The jobs will come back. You see what I'm saying? But we're going to have to implement this chip. This chip is going to how we're going to do it, man. OK, because the dollar didn't work. This didn't work. That didn't work. This is the solution, the chip. Order out of chaos, man. Problem, reaction, solution. We're there, man. We're there. They're creating the problem so they can come in with the solution, which is the karagma. We're close. Okay? This is off of Sky News from today. It says, uh, from July 31st, 2020, the year of prophecy. It reads, Sky New, uh, it says, uh, new COVID-19 restrictions, absolutely necessary. You see? So when this, this, this testing because it's going to be absolutely necessary, mandatory testing. We, we can see it. The chip, the vaccination is going to be mandatory, absolutely necessary. And if you don't want to comply, hey, we have a place to put you. We have a place to put people that don't want to comply, that don't care about the welfare of their other human beings, fellow hu hum hu humans. We, this called a, a concentration camp, a FEMA camp. Okay, we can, we can quarantine you here and, and, and watch you, you know, monitor you here. You see? That's where this thing is headed. You see, this is a new ban on separate household meetings in parts of northern England is absolutely necessary, according to the health secretary. All right. So let's play a little bit of this and then um, I hit the scripture and we're out of here. Well, let's talk to the secretary of state for health, Matt Hancock, who joins us now from central London. A very good morning to you. We're going to talk about all the details of the restrictions in a moment, if we may. Firstly, can I just put to you what Sir Keir Starmer, the leader of the Labour Party, has said, which is you know, when you're bringing in stuff like this, announcing it late night on Twitter is not the way to do it. How do you expect people to... Last minute. Last minute. When you... Hey, man, the script that I'm going to get is... I'm going to get straight to the point, too. Matter of fact, let me let me let me bring it out, man. <laughs> and I, I'll come back to it and then I'll come back to the script. Straight to the point. You know, this is Ecclesiasticus chapter five, read the whole chapter, but um straight to the point. Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, uh, chapter five, verse seven. It says, Make no terrian to turn to the Lord. And that's what we keep telling you. That's our main message to repent, man. If you don't get anything else from this, is the, the names of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh is the name of God, you know, Yahweh. And his only begotten son, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's the main thing you can you can take from these lessons. The names of the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai, and to repent, man, to turn back to them, to the Creator. Okay? You so called Negroes, you so called West Indians, you so called Haitians, you so called um, North American Indians, Seminole Indians, Hispanics, Latinos. And the, the, the ones of you, that the Israelites that are scattered amongst the other nations, looking like the other nations, the Israelite foreigners, turn back to your power, man, before the, the day of wrath comes, man, the day of vengeance, okay? That day is drawing nigh, nigh, man, okay? Repent, 
repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay? That's the main thing I could that's the main thing I want you to take out of my lessons, man. The name of the Heavenly Father, His Son, and to repent. Repent. Pray fast. Okay? Seek the Lord while he may be found. Okay? Because we're coming into some horrible times, man. Alright? Life as you know it is drastically changing. It says Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 7. It says, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day, and put not off from day to day. Okay? For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed, when you least expect it, okay? When they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them as a woman in travail. When you're not looking for the Lord, that's when you're going to visit your ass. He's going he to come see about you, okay? You see? And with the prophets, the men of the Lord, we're, we're screaming, we're warning you to get yourself right before that day, man. Get all your ducks in a row. You see? It says, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed, and perish in the day of vengeance. And the day of vengeance is drastically approaching, man. Okay? That day is drastically approaching. And he's going to, Esau, and uh, how about you know, Shai, the, the main uh, weapon he's going to use is Esau, man, okay, that's the main weapon he's going to use to, to exhort vengeance on you two-thirds, man, okay, Esau Eden is about to come down with great wrath, man, he is, okay, he's trying to establish his new world order, his agenda, his enterprise, man, and he ain't playing around, man, he is not playing around, okay, State for Health, Matt Hancock, who joins us now from central London. A very good morning to you. We're going to talk about all the details of the restrictions in a moment, if we may. Firstly, can I just put to you what Sir Keir Starmer, the leader of the Labour Party, has said, which is you know, when you're bringing in stuff like this, announcing it late night on Twitter is not the way to do it. How do you expect people to be have any idea what's going on this morning? Exactly. You're going to wake up one day and you're going to go, up, go, go to work and you're going to see troops outside your house. Okay, you're going to be driving down the street, you're going to see more, you're seeing it now, more and more military troops are being deployed. You see Trump is talking about sending the actual National Guard to Portland now. You see, we're in them times, man. We're in them times. Twitter is not the way to do it. How do you expect people to be have any idea what's going on this morning? Well, we made the announcement uh, hey, last I'll night. Show you that it's going to be a crying for wine in them times, man. A crying for answers. People going to be confused, man. They're not going to understand why <laughs> this great slaughter, this great insurrection is going to be on the people, man. They're not going to understand it. They're not going to get it. They're not going to know. We've been warning you. You're not taking heed. You're not taking heed. You're putting off the day of the Lord. You're thinking it's not going to happen. You keep thinking Babylon going to be healed. You keep thinking life going back to normal. It's not. It's not, man. It's not. Get out of that mind frame. It's not. It's getting worse. It's going to get worse before it gets better. Much worse. It's getting worse, man. It's getting worse, man. Firstly, can I just put to you what Sir Keir Starmer, the leader of the Labour Party, has said, which is you know, when you're bringing in stuff like this, announcing it late night on Twitter is not the way to do it. How do you expect people to be have any idea what's going on this morning? Well, we made the announcement uh, last night. We are moving uh, quickly in some uh, circumstances, uh, and I think that's very important. Uh, and it's one of the things that when you face a pandemic like this, it is important uh, sometimes to move quickly if that's what's needed. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased that uh, Andy Burnham, the mayor of Greater Manchester, is uh, supporting this action. It's absolutely necessary, uh, and um, of course we we have to. Sometimes we have to move quickly when we can see the growth. So you keep stressing that because what the devil is coming out with great wrath, knowing that he had but a short time, and they're using this COVID nineteen as an as an excuse, as a guise. Okay, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Okay, and you can you can um can you imagine when there's a run on the banks? Okay, how quickly that's going to happen? Okay, you know, this thing, we're close, man, we're close. <laughs> it, 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 within a day, <laughs> all hell can break loose, man. All hell as you know it. And that's how it's going to be. And your security, man, when you least expect it, 
When you least expect it, you how about you shot gonna catch you slipping? And, uh, last night, we are moving uh, quickly in some uh, circumstances, uh, and I think that's very important. Uh, and it's one of the things that, when you face a pandemic like this, it is important uh, sometimes to move quickly if that's what's needed. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased that uh, Andy Burnham, the mayor of Greater Manchester, is uh, supporting this action. It, it's absolutely necessary. Uh, and um, of course, we we have to. Sometimes we have to move quickly when we can see the growth of the of the virus. And I understand the impact of decisions like these. I understand uh, that this is not a, the sort of decision anybody would would want to take. But as we've seen before, it is important to to move quickly because because the virus uh, spreads, and you've got to make sure that you uh, do everything you can to keep ahead of it. These restrictions are, to be fair though, a little bit confusing, aren't they? The idea that you can't meet people, you, you, you can't visit homes, you can't visit private gardens, but the, the pubs aren't closing, the hairdressers aren't closing, the people are still meant to be going to work. It, it's, not clear, it's not as clear cut as a lockdown. Why not take it one step further? Well, of, of course, you know, it, it is absolutely crystal clear, precisely as you said, uh, what the new rules are. Uh, and we brought them in to target specifically uh, the problems that we've been able to see through the data. Because we want to... I'm going to stop it there, because that's ultimately what, what's going on. It's ultimately, they, they've, they have an algorithm that, they have, they, that they've come, that they've um, put together or they, that they have in their mind, okay, an agenda, a, a, a order of things that they, they have a way that they want things to run, a program, an order, a system, the beast system, which we know is the rebirth of the Roman Empire, NATO and the EU, right, the beast, they have a way that they want things to run, okay, and it's going to be harsh, man, it's going to be harsh, it's going to be harsh, like I said, go watch those movies, 1984, uh, um, Handmaid's Tale, Black Mirror, so on and so. They want perfect slaves, man. Okay, and they're gonna be they're gonna be able to do that and control you through the karagma, the chip. Revelations 13 and 16. All right, that day is drastically approaching, man. And Esau Edom, as you said, quickly. It's important to move quickly. You know, as in the case of this pandemic, why? Because it's a pandemic. They have a plan. They're trying to roll out this plan, this agenda to chip the people. Okay. So I, I, I'm not going to make it long. Like I said, read this whole chapter. This whole chapter is fire. Read this whole chapter, okay? But like I said, again, straight to the point. Like I said, the main point is, hey, make no tearing. Repent. Turn back to the Lord, the Creator, Yahweh Bashem Shai, while you can, okay? Rehearse the righteous acts. Keep the laws to the best of your ability. Pray fast. Keep the high holy days to the best of your ability. Repent, okay? Because when you least expect it, like I keep saying, Hey, life, you're going to wake up and it's going to be all hell breaking loose out here, man. Okay. So anyway, Ecclesiasticus 5 and 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security thou, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Okay. So anyway, with that being said, Lord's willingness was edifying or a real quick one. Hey, like I always say, we're close, man. Keep pushing. Shalom. Wa abad babal.